got behind me somewhere. A speedboat. Probably thinks I'm kind of a weirdo. It's not wrong, but you know. Hey folks, and welcome back to Bushcraft Friend. Today, as you can see, we're on the lake in my, uh, my homemade canoe. And, uh, just bungee it off there now into a tree. So I thought I'd make it out to the middle of the lake before I'd start vlogging. And lo and behold, it started raining. Uh, there's a 40% chance of rain today, and really, I just got it. So, um, but it was just a shower. And actually, if you look at the skies over here, the really blue, blue skies coming our way. Uh, it was just poor luck, I guess. But, uh, you know, I packed all my stuff so that if I went into the water, all my stuff would be dry. So, ironically, it kind of worked in this sense because all my stuff is still dry, you know. But, so we'll come out here. This is Bissett Lake I'm in. And I plan on stringing my hammock somewhere and snoozing for the night. Maybe have a little fire. I would like to have a fire, although with the rain shower, I don't know. It wasn't that much of a shower, but it might be enough. You know what I mean? So... Yeah. Now the rain has subsided. Blue skies. Let's continue. So earlier when it was raining, I was like, oh right, this isn't good. Let's get out of this. So, uh, I come into shore where there's a bunch of trees overhanging the water, and that's where I filmed uh, oh, for about two minutes. But it's funny, as soon as I got into the covered little spot, it stopped raining. And it's the way it is, the way it goes sometimes. Cool. So I'm like a little bit more than halfway to where I want to be. And where I want to be exactly. Is right in between that rock and that rock there. Trouble right in there. The boat has pretty good momentum once it actually gets going. I'm switching arms a lot. I'm not too clever at the J-stroke yet. This paddle is homemade. As you can see, and it is a bit longer than what it should be, but I made a little thing to make it a kayak style. I take the two paddles and there's a connector piece, but that connector piece broke. I was trying to go through some high winds. I think I found my location. So, uh, I stretch my legs. All right, I use my Fisker brush axe to get through all this. To be honest, I'm a little paranoid over ticks. We've had a pretty mild winter. And, uh, been pretty bad so far this year. Cool. I think I can make something out of this. Just gonna get through the brush. It looks like looks like a rabbit trail or weasel trail or something, so. 
might be uh, might even be a bunch of ticks here. Who knows? All right, so I think I'm going to string up between this tree and this tree, or possibly this tree and this tree here. Um, the only thing with this area is I can't really tell if this is poison ivy or not. See, it's got the three leaves. They say leaves of three, leave them be. And it's also not very glossy, so I'm not sure if it is poison ivy. But I'm going to leave it. I'm going to try to, uh, you know, stomp it down. It also doesn't really have much of a fuzzy stem on it. It's not really fuzzy underneath the leaf either. Also, I've got this going on here. <laughs> I don't know if it's hemlock or uh, I think it's like Queen Anne's whatever it is, lace or something. I don't know. I don't know the name of it, but I recognize it. Um, this time of year, it's very easily to uh, misrecognize it. So, uh, let's stomp that down too. But other than that, I've got a beautiful view Right in here is where I came in. I was fishing out here for a little bit, but I'm not much of a fisherman, so I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Yeah. All right. Maybe I won't actually set up a hammock here, just in case I fall in or something. I'll set it up right here. So, I gotta move a bunch of this stuff here to do that. Heard a bumblebee go around me. So a natural fork on this end, and a cut fork on that end, make my spreader bar. Oh yeah, way better. That's the getaway to keep your stuff dry. Very important to fluff up your sleeping bag a couple hours before you actually sleep in it. Okay. Now then. I'm gonna get my tarp set up. A rock works better, but I'm just gonna take a stick, put it inside the tarp, fold it over, make a button, an overhand knot inside, and there. All right, hammock set up. I got enough firewood for maybe maybe two hours. Yeah, definitely two hours. But uh, I'm gonna give up from that now, and I'm gonna go fishing for a little bit. And uh, get something to drink. Because I am thirsty. Now, it could be wrong, but this is how you fly fish, is it not? <laughs> yeah, behind me somewhere, a speedboat. Probably thinks I'm kind of a weirdo. It's not wrong, but you know. Spin around the end of my uh, my hook here. For hopefully catching bass, but we'll just see about that.
So I've been doing a little bit of fishing here and there, right? And I haven't got a single thing. Uh, and I'm using some uh, some snails I found too as bait. Um, I know for bass you you normally just need a spinner, but it, I don't know. It's not cutting the mustard here. Uh, bad luck. Most of fishing, I think, is luck. So I've been following this uh, family of ducks around for a little bit. I'm trying to get some pretty cool pictures. Well, that was hard to do. <laughs> that was very hard to drag up that. All right. Now, I am... Let's start looking for more firewood. It's got a little bit. I don't know. I don't think it's enough. Fear not, there's lots of fallen over trees around me. So, I should have realized something was fishy when I seen a whole bunch of bumblebees buzzing around. And, uh, anyways, at the time I paid no mind to it. But, I seen a bumblebee. I seen a bumblebee going there somewhere into its hive and the hive is connected to my hammock and uh, I don't know how I didn't set them off before but it's got me really paranoid now and uh, anyway I feel really I feel really foolish but uh, I, I think I'm gonna call today done <laughs> uh, I don't think I'll be camping today that's a bummer but I get to go out in the canoe I mean that was that was pretty fun right Yeah. Anyway, I feel foolish. Foolish for sitting on my hammock right there. And there's not any other place really I could set it up in short notice. And uh, even if I did, I'd be still too paranoid. Um, I feel like an idiot. Sorry, guys. Last couple times, anyway, uh, it just hasn't been very good. <laughs> I haven't been very lucky. Um, either the weather wasn't cooperating, or you know, something come up. Thanks for joining me. Ugh. That would kind of sucked. But enough crying about it, there'll be other times. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me about your camping failures in the comment section below. Uh, I don't know. Till next time, Bushcraft Brent out. Ha <laughs> ha!
Ow! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, I'm in a hammock. I'm not supposed to get sticks in my back. Oh! Oh, there's the camera again. <laughs>